Hi all, in this video we share 6 tips and secrets related to dungeons in Conan Exiles. While these tips are not essential for your dungeon experiences, they are easily missed and good to know. We hope we can show you a thing or two, and if you know some dungeon related secrets or tips we haven't covered yet, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let's start with the Temple of Frost. Did you know that there is a white dragon located right below the bridge that leads to the Forge of Ymir? The Forge of Ymir is where you can find the smithy that lets you craft some black ice equipment and items. The easiest is to climb down on the right side of the bridge when you enter the room. If you are in the area and need a dragon kill for a challenge or some resources, keep this location in mind. Unfortunately, to this day, white dragons still don't drop a white dragon head. We would really love to see this implemented as a trophy one day. Now to the Black Keep. Did you know that there is a secret entrance to the Black Keep that lets you skip all the skeletons you would normally have to face when heading to the regular entrance? It requires swimming though. Head to the part of the ice lake just west of the obelisk. Jump into the water and swim north towards some underwater ruins. A trail of glowing goo should lead you straight to it. Swim inside and once you face the sewer gate, surface. You have now reached the secret undergate that lets you enter directly into the black keep. Be warned though, once you enter the dungeon through this hidden undergate, you can't exit from there. It's a one-way entrance. The Midnight Grove. If you have already visited this dungeon, you know that it can only be entered by consuming a potion of Midnight. You can either purchase the potion from the Child of Jebel Sag, which you can find here. Or you can learn the knowledge of Midnight Alchemist from the same NPC and craft a potion yourself. So what is the tip? Well, the potion is also a great way to traverse the map and travel to Sepamura quickly. Since you can craft the potion, you can literally enter the dungeon from anywhere on the map. And here's the tip. If you then simply exit the dungeon, you will be teleported to the small lake at the waterside of Sepamura. Be warned though, once crafted, the potion has a very short expiry timer. You have to consume it within 30 seconds. Another dungeon that's somewhat special is the Sunken City. This underwater dungeon features several temples with dungeon bosses and hostile enemies. And in two of them, you'll be able to pick up some parasite creatures that will give you locust spawns. In other words, this is a way to obtain free Sand Reaper pets. Parasites can be found in the same temple as the Son of Dagon boss. That's the room with the large fish carcass, and it's located right next to the last temple that leads to the final dungeon boss. There should be two parasites and more will spawn once you fight the boss. You can also pick up at least two more parasites in the last temple by heading to the room that's located in front of the area where you drop down to the final boss room. Simply keep left when entering the dungeon. Let's move on to the Vine Cellar. Did you know that you can jump down anywhere in the Vine Cellar and it will simply port you back to the entrance? And best of all, you won't die or lose any of your equipment. That's right, we also learned that one fairly late. Let's call this one an emergency exit. Maybe you are stuck, don't have time to finish the dungeon and want to leave, or simply want to get back to the beginning. At least now you know how to do it safely. Our last tip revolves around the Warmaker's Sanctuary. This one is for all of you who love to decorate their bases and collect as many placeables as possible. If you have been to the dungeon, you already know that in order to proceed further into the dungeon, you have to collect three statuettes from the bosses that are situated around the map room in the inner sanctum. 
But instead of solving the puzzle by placing the statuettes, you can also just simply keep them in your inventory and leave the dungeon. That leaves you with three pretty cool placeables for your base. And that's all for this video. If you know of some dungeon related secrets or tips we haven't covered yet, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching.